uh, high boy with cheese. Now the Lamborghini, I don't know if we actually explained. It's a their basic burger, but with pepperoni in there as well. That's right. Oh, I got a Lamborghini with cheese. Okay. I think I think that's how it is. I think the yeah. Lamborghini is cheese and pepperoni, and they have a just pepperoni, no cheese option with right. some other foolish name. So pepperoni, I guess, makes it Italian. Yeah. So then they can call it Lamborghini. Lamborghini. I shouldn't ah. be doing the work for them. You deciphered it though. Yeah, but I their marketing should better. do the work for me, not the other way around. That's a good. I'm point. the one who put in friggin' an hour, forty five minutes, or whatever it took to do a twenty minute drive. That's true. That's Detours true. and all. Man, this city sometimes. Oh, oh, go ahead. Turn right all you want. Never able to turn left. Now when you do want to turn right? No, 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 no. Not this one. Go straight. This city. And by the way, please leave your mirror right here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Throughout all these detours and uh, construction, there were some people so frustrated with all the slow-moving traffic that they zipped around the traffic pillars. And uh, one person... Lost their side mirror and didn't flinch, didn't slow down, just kept on driving uh, down the street and abandoned their side mirror. But in hindsight, that makes a lot of sense because I was bragging about how calm I am in traffic. Little did I know that Dick Ann's was about to close. That's true. I would have been that guy. That's true. We would have changed our tune a little bit if we realized that it closed at 8. We would have been losing mirrors Hanging on for dear life while Nick swerved through traffic cones. We would have been losing anywhere between X and two mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> you can get mirrors anytime, but you don't need to get Dick Ann's until 8. <laughs> Before <laughs> 8 and not on Sundays. You know what you can't get on Sundays? A new mirror. A new mirror. That's right. All day on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, depends on where you go. But yeah. yeah. If you know a guy, there's wow. no limit. Do you have a mirror guy? Don't you? Have a mirror guy? Yeah. There's no such thing in Ontario. Oh. No mirror guys? No. People don't like the way they look in Ontario? Oh. 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 Ontario burn. And no, they don't. Speaking of burns, nothing was burned today. My burgers were great. Oh, your face a little bit. Yeah, I did get get a bit of a sunburn on my face because I don't spend enough time in the sun. And so when I do, I just really want to soak it up. Um... Much like I sometimes gorge on burgers and have a stomach ache after, I uh, gorge on sunlight and I have a face ache now. You gotta get that vitamin D. In normal amounts, though, that's the problem. Now soak it in, like soak you do with water. In. You soak in the water, that's and true. it lasts you for days. Yeah, that's... soak in vitamin D. That burn is just replenishing your vitamin D. I think day this in is, day out. This sounds like some very faulty logic, but I'm gonna go with it. I like it. Hmm. Now, my burgers, uh, the high boy with cheese. I didn't explain that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a unique item to me on the Dick Ann's menu. I think it's Basically, travesty. all of Dick Ann's' burgers have a mustard, relish, ketchup. Secret uh, sauce. And, uh, and the spicy sauce, and they're smushed. You can get cheese. You can get two patties. This... Hi, boy, is the exceptional burger on the menu where it has lettuce and tomatoes like a normal hamburger. But this is their, like, you know, tilted crown, top-notch burger. Um, And you know what? You saw me eating it. I feel like Matthew was watching me while he was eating it, having so much trouble with the tomato that I feel like Matthew felt really vindicated about... Never taking tomatoes in his burger. Matthew, do you want to speak to that for a second? You seem so amused. <laughs> I, was, I was. I was real happy with the, the the anguish you were put through. And the, you know, you're finally starting to see tomatoes in their true light. Where, where they're difficult, I couldn't cut them with my teeth, and I ended up just slurping up a whole tomato in one bite in a, in a, in a struggle. Did yeah. that really happen? It, this was while you went to go check on maybe get another burger. So maybe was my experience was less embarrassing. embarrassing. That's true. That's true. I was being embarrassed while you were gone. And so technically I was half as embarrassed because there were half as many audience members for me. That high boy was doomed from the very beginning. Why do you feel that way? So what's the point of a Dick Ann's burger? It's smushed. Mm. You can't smush crisp lettuce. 
It's so a good point. They tried to smush it for you, and then it de-smushified on its way into your hands and became just a normal-sized burger and therefore inferior to everything else on the table. You know what, uh, Nick? I think you're talking out of turn. You didn't have one of these burgers, and you don't know. My eyeballs looked at it. This didn't look right. However, your guesstimation on how this burger is is pretty correct. <laughs> it didn't feel like a true Dick Ann's burger. It felt like something less than. It costs like something more than, but, <laughs> but, but tasted like something less than. Hmm. That was something I was a little surprised by. Two real flat burgers, a little flat cola, a little... Regular. Well, I had an iced tea, so yeah, it was a very flat drink. Yeah, yeah. Very regular fries, but small. And then a little flat hot dog. That was like 15 bucks. Mm, I suppose, yeah. I guess the prices are kind of... Uh, the, the the price of a Dick Ann's burger doesn't seem to be in any correlation to the amount of food you're actually getting. Yeah. So they are very small little burgers. Yeah. However, these small little burgers are how they were able to make 13... 1,506 burgers in one hour back in 1987 to get the world record for the most cheeseburgers, not hamburgers, cheeseburgers oh. produced in a single hour. What, when were you born? 1986. What about you, Matt? Uh, the same. Me as well. Oh. Were we the inspiration for this record? I doubt it, but... Uh, we'll never know. I like to think it. Dick and Ann seemed like they were a little, you know, a little into the occult. And maybe... Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? That's maybe. a left turn. We haven't been allowed to make a left turn all night. That's our first left turn of the night. <laughs> maybe they needed a little... Uh, they needed some spirit babies to uh, to grant them that... Uh... The hell are you saying? <laughs> what know. are these spirit babies? Uh, well, okay, I know wait. it's getting a little hot in here, but... The... You're losing it, Matthew. You're what? losing your grip. Okay, what 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 year was this a uh, record? 1987. So they made a pact. Year with, of our Lord. <laughs> they made a pact with, with uh, the the goat god, mm-hmm. uh, the goat god, or you know Satan's. Uh, I don't know, man. It's hot in here. <laughs> oh man! There was Off a, the rails. <laughs> the photo. The photo of Dick and Ann with yes. that. Like cop beside police them? officer, police yeah. officer. It was or a, some sort of official. He it had was, a nice hat and a badge. It was scary looking. I don't like eating Why my was burgers. It scary. What was scary about it? Because it was a photo, black and white photo from the fifties of people standing there being happy. Dick and Ann are dead. They're you dead. You don't know that. I mean, they wait, that's true. Do are. we do we know that? I no, we don't. This is all speculation now, Matthew. How are Dick and Ann not dead? If that I mean, photo's from the fifties, prob- they're probably dead. 66 years okay, so later. Okay, so let's say they were in their 30s. Yeah. 66 years later. They may well be alive. I have an argument for why they are alive. That's right. Because they're the reason they still closes at 8. That's right. And the owners close are on a still Sunday. the owners, and they say, All the franchise, they're like, come on, Dick. Come on, Ann. We're just we're trying to make money here. And they're like, no. Ronald and Wendy and uh, who are some of these other uh, these other burger uh, these heathens? Yeah, yeah. Were operating their businesses on a Sunday, it's like, the yeah. Lord's Day, <laughs> and, and staying open past curfew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. These money loving heathens don't respect God and a good burger. I get it. So when Dick and Ann, uh, you know, kick the bucket, that's when they're going to start doing twenty four hours mm, drive Dick through, and drive through, uh, blaring music, non smushed burgers. Either that, or they honor the tradition of Dick Ann's and just throw away a day of profits every every week, fifty two days of profit a year. <laughs> that's the tradition of Dick that's Ann's the tradition. burning not to, money. Not to be super profitable, just good. Just make thirteen hundred burgers. And put them in the trash and make sure that CFCF12 watches you do that. <laughs> yeah, just so you can get that media coverage. Because people show up after. They go, wow, they make them fast. I right. heard you put 1,300 burgers in the trash. I would like one, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to pay too much. See, I doubt, I'm pretty sure all these burgers were there. Yeah. Think of it, about it. 1987. No internet. Video games, pretty much in their infancy. What are you doing on a Saturday afternoon other than hearing that a world record is about to be broken in your town? You could go watch it happen. And you know what? 
you'll probably get a couple of good burgers out of it. Maybe even appear on CFCF News at 6. Sounds like a white knuckle thrill ride. Montreal's <laughs> one to watch is... Montreal's one to watch. Own. CFCF 12. Yeah, that's right. Wow. I mean, now there's CTV Montreal or some hub do. But CFCF 12, Canada's first, Canada's finest, was there. CFCF 12. Now, don't you think if they're a world record, I don't know if they're the holder, but they said it low those many years ago. Did they also have 1,300 popsicle sticks to back that up in the moment? Good question. You know what? Share your popsicle stick. You're not actually licking it. You just use it to lick yeah, the burger. Yeah, you can share. Yeah, share I'd share with you. Sticks. We're there close we enough. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. Um, <laughs> and so um, I liked my burgers. Uh, the cheeseburger, very good. Nice little spice to it. The Lamber, sorry, Hamburgini. The pun is so bad that I can't even <laughs> stick with it. Um, the Hamburgini. The pepperoni was pretty good. It really added a lot more spice than I anticipated to the whole situation. Mind you, mustard's got a little spice. The sauce has a little spice. We got three kind of little spices coming in together. What do we get? Spicy-ish. Um, <laughs> it was a decent burger. And then I went all the way up to the uh, high boy. And it was a fine burger. So I really think, as far as the true Dick Ann's experience, just get a cheeseburger, maybe a regular hamburger. The cheese was nice. It kind of gooped off, which is really melty and tasty. I like some melty cheese. But um, don't get don't get uh, wooed away by pepperoni or lettuce. Stick with the classic, the Dick Ann's classic, the world record-setting classic, regular cheeseburger. Nick, what did you think of your burgers? I thought they were great, but I disagree with what you're saying. Go on. The pepperoni made it better. That was in a little extra bonus Yeah, a little, uh, I don't know, this is my first time on this show. I don't have your vocabulary of food words. What's a, what's a term to describe the taste of pepperoni? Pep? Had a little pep? Pep or maybe roni. <laughs> <laughs> maybe roni, but I don't know, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's added a, a little pep to it's the burger. Got, it's got the sort of uh, hammy meat taste, but a little extra spice. Yeah. Hammy by the way, this taste. is exactly the kind. This of is the, the spitballing focus group environment they needed for their Hamburgini pun. Well, <laughs> I mean, I doubt, I doubt, hammy meat taste with a little spice burger would have been a big. Seller. Put a little pep in your burger with the Hamburgini. <laughs> mm. Help me out here, because there's something I feel like I'm I'm not getting. How is a Lamborghini and pepperoni? Uh, uh, how do they Lamborghini go and pepperoni are both Italian, <sighs> as is Sebastian. Mm-hmm. So and, therefore, uh, authority on this. And uh, as we all know, uh, Italians have that little extra spice. All right, that's a spice in the <laughs> ball. <laughs> um, go, I, yeah. All right. And that could be their slogan with a little asterisk. By the way, we do not have meatballs. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, to me, that's... A, and also, it's maybe a high-end burger by putting a couple slices of pepperoni. I mean, Actually, that's not really that high-end. I'm pretty sure the Hamburghini was a... That was a, was a few cents shorter than uh, the high price than the, than the, high than the cheeseburger. Than the cheeseburger? Because of the cheese. That's right. But the, the cheese was more expensive than the pepperoni. The Hamburghini had cheese. No, the no, no only if you asked for it. Oh, so yeah. I guess I got it with cheese. Yeah. This isn't the Dick Ann's of my childhood. I feel like when I used to go there, I didn't have to worry about making decisions. No, this is you a... show up, they give you a burger. There was no cheese on it. Now, I imagine as a child, you weren't ordering, and your dad was like, you can eat cheese at home. Burger. Yeah, and fucking bring the difference. paper bag back. Yeah, that's true. That's Keep true. that popsicle stick. <laughs> yeah. We're getting it to go. No, we're eating it here, but we're saving the bags. <laughs> that's a little tricky. You pick up from your old man. You'll thank me when you're older. <laughs> um, now, Nick, we've known each other for quite a few years now. It's been over a decade. And in those many years, we've gotten into a couple... Um, Situations, at least one with the law. Now, where um, is this going? Now, <laughs> these sexy situations. Are you are you bringing up my uh, my 
Rocky Past here? Yes, that's it. This